Hey there. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at how to verify a differential equation. Don't forget that in our previous video, we looked at what a differential equation is. What a differential equation is. So here, to verify whether an equation is, a, is an exact differential equation or not, sorry, how to verify an exact oh how to verify an exact differential equation so to verify an exact differential equation we need to first look at a theory and that theory is the criterion for exact differential equation is a criterion for the exact differential equation. So, what is the theorem saying? The theorem is saying that if m is a function of s and y and n is a function of s and y, are continuous, are continuous function. You know what a continuous function means? That means that there is no break or angle or there is no hole. A continuous and have continuous first partial derivative in the variable x and y in some region of the s y plane. Then the condition that then the condition that the expression this be an exact differential is this. Uh, sorry, be an exact differential in this region is that when you take the partial derivative of the f at respect to y and the same as the partial derivative of n at respect to x, when that is established, that means that the differential equation is an exact. All right. And you know how to identify the version of m as in terms of s and y and the function of n as in terms of x and y. Then you are almost there. Because the only thing to do is to take the derivative of to take the partial derivative of the m as respect to y. Whatever you get, put it down. Then you come to partial derivative of n as respect to x. And you know in both, here we treat x as constant and here we treat y as constant. Very good. So, let's look at some of the examples. So I would like to play that part, make sure you write. So this is a theory that we are going to base upon, or the criterion to verify as an equation. So we have our first question to be this.
Alright, so let's look at the solution to the first one. In fact, it's not difficult, alright? So looking at the solution to the first one, we have that. And you know how to. The first thing to do to do is to determine your M and your N. So you know that the M is the one which is attached with what? The S. So the M is going to be that is 2s minus 4y plus 5. Then you go for n. And that is the one which is attached to the y, which is Can remove it from the bracket. So here, what do we do? We take the partial derivative of n as respect to. I have failed. As respect to y. In fact, you know that here this is attached to dx. I'm giving you the simple way to get it. Okay. Here, you know that it's attached to dx. So definitely. When you are taking the partial derivative of n, you will not take it as respect to s, but rather the opposite. I hope it's clear. Alright, so you take it as respect to y, not x. No! Very good. So, we do this by treating s as constant. So, this is a constant, so that means it's zero. Here is negative 4. Oh, this is constant, so zero. So, here we get negative 4. Then we go to this side, partial derivative of n as respect to x. Very good. Because here yeah, x attached to y, so we take the partial derivative as respect to x. And that one is going to be, here we treat y as constant. So this is 0. Then this will be negative 4. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now don't forget that we established that um, a differential equation is exact if and only if the partial derivative of n as respect to y is the same as the partial derivative of n as respect to x. And now you can see that set is established because here is negative 4, this is negative 4. In fact, even if here is 4 and here is negative 4, this is not equal to this. So the differential equation or the total differential equation is not an exact differential equation. It's not. It's never. And it can never be an exact differential equation. But here, we can see that here is negative, here is negative, so this is equal to this. So, we conclude that the differential equation we have here is an exact differential equation. I hope you are loving it. Very good. Let's look at the second example. Now here, the y prime here, with this question, we have to do something before. You can see that here, it should be in, we have to get the s here and the y here. Okay, so definitely, we have to get the y, the s in it. But you can see this is y prime. By the y prime, we know it to be the same as the y, the s, plus y, which is equal to zero. So, with this, we can try to establish by getting the y ds inside of it. If only you can see, if only you know what to do first. Send this one here, you get negative y. Alright. Now this is the y ds. Do cross multiplication. You see that you get s plus y squared. The y is equal to negative of this. Then here will be. Yes, but don't forget that the total derivative is not in the form. Total derivative is in the form u in terms of s and y, which is equal to zero. Alright, so s plus y squared 
dy plus y dx is equal to z. So we can identify our f in terms of x and y to be s plus y squared. And we can determine our n in terms of s and y to be y. Huh? Very sorry. Now, this is the one attached with the x. So this is rather y, and this is rather s plus y squared. Hope you can see that very good. So, finally, then we see what is the partial derivative of m as respect to y. The partial derivative of m as respect to y, we treat this as constant. So this is zero. Oh, sorry. Here, you get one. Then the partial derivative of m. Hey, what is happening to me? As respect to s. So we treat y as constant. So this is zero. So here we get one. Oh, so that means that the second person to the other side. So saying this is the same as this, then we conclude that this differential equation is an exact differential equation. Alright, so we move to the third question. You can pause the video and try the third question on your own. So here is in the form of a total derivative. But don't forget this one is not in the form of a total derivative. But this is in the form of total derivative. This is in the form of total derivative. So we identify our m as the term of y to be 2xy. So in the partial derivative of m as respect to y is going to be when we differentiate two, sorry, we are treating s as constant. So when you differentiate, close this, when you differentiate y, you get 1. So here is 2 guys, so we write the constant. Then n in terms of s and y is going to be s squared minus s squared minus s y. And the total derivative of this as respect to x. This, you treat, we know that this is 2s. Minus, now watch, watch. We are treating y as constant. So here we get 1. So 1 plus y, so we get y. So you can see that here, the partial derivative of n as respect to y is not equal to the partial derivative of n as respect to x. Hope you can see that. Frame. It's just simple, it's not difficult, but then that it demands constant practice. If you don't practice, you can't be a good mathematics student. For mathematics, you must practice and practice and practice more. Alright, so see you in the next video. And in the next video, what we're going to do is just simple. I'm going to give you steps. Let me tell you. I'm going to give you steps. You're going to do solution to exact differential equation. Now that we're able to verify an exact differential equation, we are now going to do a solution to a differential equation. And I'm going to give you steps in going through, in getting the solution to exact differential equation. And trust me, you are going to love it. All right. See you in that video. Ooh. But please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.